Northampton's Board of Health discussed a proposed generational ban on nicotine products in a virtual meeting tonight, hoping to stop the harmful effects the products have on young people. 22 News reporter Kaylee Thomas is live in studio this evening to explain what this ban would mean and how people are feeling about it. The proposed ban targets a specific age group, those born after January 1st, 2004, to create a nicotine-free generation. Tonight I heard from people both for and against it. It's kind of taking people's freedom away to do what they want um, with their own bodies. Well, I think this ban would you know, be good for the, co the Commonwealth residents of Northampton. Northampton's Board of Health has proposed a generational ban on nicotine products. It's being met with mixed reactions. The city wants to ban the sale of these products to those born after January 1st, 2004, a group that will turn 21 next year. You know, I'm, I'm not a smoker and uh, it definitely bothers me. It bothers my children. You know, I don't want to see them ha develop any, um, you know, asthma or any other conditions that would be um, negative to their health. There has been a decline in people using traditional cigarettes. Numbers show young adults now turning to e-cigarettes, vaping and nicotine pouches, raising public health concerns. You know, one pouch is like smoking two and a half packs of combustible cigarettes. That's how strong they are. Uh, tobacco companies nowadays make their money and nicotine companies is by making these colorful flavors and like, you know, good advertising. But you could get around that by just saying with stronger messaging instead of out, outright banning that stuff. We don't want to punish the people who currently smoke, you know, who are of age or the businesses in our community. We want to help transition them away from the deadly product. A similar ban was passed in the eastern Massachusetts town Brookline earlier this year, bearing the sale of nicotine products to those born after 2000. The state's highest court upheld the ban. Other Boston area towns followed Brookline's lead and Northampton hopes to be next. There will be a possible hearing the near, in the near future where the Board of Health will make an official vote. Working for you, Kaylee Thomas, 22 News.